The presidential primary wasn't the only race closely watched on Super Tuesday. There's a bid for governor in North Carolina that is heating up and garnering a lot of reaction due to a controversial candidate on the Republican side. North Carolina's Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson won the Republican nomination, and the state's Attorney General Josh Stein clinched the Democratic nomination. The two will face off in November to replace Democratic Governor Roy Cooper, who is term limited. While both Stein and Robinson have made a name for themselves, it's the Republican candidate often in the limelight. Following the news of the lieutenant governor winning the GOP nomination for governor, these headlines from several news outlets describing Mark Robinson as a conspiracy theorist, Hitler quoting candidates, a Holocaust denying, gay bashing, extreme anti-abortion radical. Mark Robinson has not shied away from criticizing the media right back. Whenever they mention my name, they always mention my name in, conju in conjunction with social issues and how I hate everybody. According to them, I hate everybody. That same news media doesn't want to talk about how bad California is doing. But it's always demonizing a guy like Mark Robinson or Ron DeSantis or, or that fellow that needs to be in the White House right now, Donald Trump. Robinson has received the endorsement of Donald Trump, who called him a Martin Luther King Jr. on steroids. Robinson has become known for giving fiery speeches and sermons. Got them AR-15s in case the government gets too big for its britches. Because I'm going to fill the backside of them britches with some lead. I don't have to listen to those in my own party who have watched as my back has been whipped by our enemies. There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it filth. Robinson prides himself on not sounding like a politician, but what he says is often later picked up by the media. More controversy tonight over remarks made by North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. The first tonight at 6, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is in the middle of yet another controversy. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson's controversial comments are raising a lot of eyebrows. Robinson is the latest candidate to take this Trump-like approach, and results on Super Tuesday suggest it's working for the Republican base. There was a strong showing for both Stein and Robinson on Super Tuesday. Stein received 476,000 votes, or 70% of the Democratic vote. Meanwhile, Robinson receiving 664,000 votes, or 65% of his party's vote. They are two successful candidates with starkly different personalities and policies. It's gearing up to be a contentious showdown in one of the nation's key battleground states. Right now, the political makeup is a Democratic governor with a Republican-controlled state legislature. This will be a race to watch outside of the presidential election come November.